to veteran players of Conan Exiles. This lady in front is one of, or if not the most feared bosses in the game. One of the most hardest hitting. The one who, when anyone mentions her name, sends shivers through people's spines. Anyone who says they are coming to fight her, those who they talk to will tell them to avoid her. Because she will literally destroy you or your followers. To those who are new, she is known as the Arena Champion. One of the most renowned, dangerous bosses in the game. At this moment in time. So be wary. Avoid this boss if you come into Clayhouse Stronghold. One of the tougher dungeons in the game. Avoid the arena if you don't want to fight this person. But if you like her armour, or you like the look of it, stick with us and we'll talk all about it. Hi guys and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is the next episode of our little armour guide series that we're going through armour that is suitable for players. And if you didn't get it by the little intro there, yes, we are going to be talking about the champion's armour and looking at what it looks like. Uh, why it's good for players and we'll also have a look at the stat bonuses that it comes with just so you've got an idea if you use it yourself um, what you'll be benefiting from with it uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again it's another armour again like one of the others that we haven't looked at yet but we will still be looking at uh, it's probably no good on a thrall to be honest as you'll see by the stats that it comes with Yes, you could use it or you could use pieces of it, but ideally it's probably more suited to a player. So let's jump into it and have a look. Alright, so as I say, this is the Arena Champions armour. This is another end game armour. We're now looking at the sort of higher end of armours it can get. As you saw in the last episode, we looked at the Void Forge Dragon armour, which again is another end game armor it has to be crafted at end game because it needs the higher materials but you could also use it uh you could give it to somebody who is lower level than you that isn't quite end game yet if you're able to craft it for your friend or somebody that you know on a server you play on uh but this is the arena champions armor which you learn in clayel stronghold which is a dungeon if i zoom out on my map over here we go all the way over here so if you come sort of north Slightly northeast of Sepa Maru, and it's just here. And you need to go into the arena. You don't have to fight the arena champion, believe it or not. Even though I believe she said at the beginning of this video you'll have to defeat her to learn her armor. No, you don't. Don't worry. You can even actually sneak in there, learn the recipe, and come out of the arena again without her even knowing you were there. And I'll show you that shortly in this video. But as I say, this is. The Arena Champions armor, as you can see on this mannequin here, you can see what it looks like. Different colour for her in the arena, but when you get it yourself and you craft it, this is the colour it will come in. And what we get, if we take a look, again it's all heavy armour, as I say. Legendary, and as you can see from the head we get stamina. Then with the chest piece we get strength weapon damage. The hands we get stamina again the legs we get more strength weapon and stamina from the feet once again so from this really probably only the legs and the chest would be best for a thrall if you're going to use them purely for the strength weapon bonuses uh, but the head the hands the feet yeah I'd forget it that's not going to do anything for them uh, because thralls as we know or if you don't know are not affected by stamina or carry capacity uh, and what you want to do if you're going to craft this armor, <coughs> excuse me, you will need again minimum the improved armorer's bench. But if you are end game and you've got a bigger base set up, I know I keep saying it in every video, Garry's an armorer's bench. Uh, this will reduce your cost of producing the armor. And again, if you also include your shield right armor, they will give you more armor value on the armor when you craft it so it'll have a higher armor value 
which is good for any pieces of music for trolls but obviously this is for you as a player so this would give you higher armor uh, value towards the armor that you're wearing which is probably ideal especially once the new update comes around and things are going to be harder to kill uh, yeah we want to be ready uh, you can also then put on the master armor plating or if you want a bit more armor again use the bulk plating yeah, it will just give you even more armor uh, but if you find it's a little heavy potentially certainly on the chest and the legs maybe you could use the armor reduction kit which will obviously reduce the weight of the armor but you won't have as much uh, armor value on those two pieces but at least it won't weigh as heavy so that's what it looks like what does it take to craft okay so to craft this armor as we can see we're going to need armor scraps perfected heavy padding and layered fur for the feet and if we come across to the chest it's the same again same for the hands same for the head and the same again for the legs now your perfected heavy padding we've talked about this previously of how you make it you make that with your hardened leather elephant hide and twine I believe if I remember that correctly do not off the top of my head uh, but it's pretty simple to make and it does explain it just the same as this uh, the layered fur we'll talk about in a second the armor scraps you can farm from Clayhouse Stronghold or the Warmaker Dungeon Warmaker Sanctuary has all different names uh, there are some chests that you can loot uh, and when you go into the main area uh, that you get a rusted key from and when you go into the final boss room there are four doors that you can unlock with these rusted keys you don't get to keep the key once you use it it does disappear but there is a chest in each of those rooms which will have either one or a few pieces of the armor scraps so you probably have to farm the dungeon a few times uh, to get enough pieces to make this because uh, it does take quite a bit as we can see uh, the arena champion does also drop an odd couple of pieces when you kill her sometimes but at the moment with the way she is to fight it's just really not worth it for the sake of your armor scraps I would just go in loot the few chests that are around that are sort of hidden up on the sides I'll quickly show you where they are when we go to learn the recipe um, uh, just keep getting those keys the four keys go into the last boss room defeat the last boss and just check the four rooms that will give you the scraps as for the layered fur you just need your either tanner's table or your improved tanner's table if you're not using that one and you go to your tanner's table and you want the option that gives you fur and alchemical base and as you can see there you can make layered fur if you need layered silk for anything by the way that's done exactly the same only it's silk and alchemical base again and for your hardened leather that you need for any legendary armor you just need regular leather thick leather alchemical base and oil and you make this on your tanner's table and you don't necessarily need a thrall in there to do it you can do this without a thrall as well we've just got this armor in here just for the extra options at the top which i've mentioned in the previous video which is stitch so if you need thick hide early game or you've run out of some thick hide even if you're at end game but you've got a ton of regular hide pop some in here with some twine and your armor with twine and hide will stitch them and you'll be able to get thick hide really easy so like i say you will need the improved armor as bench minimum to craft this it'll probably take a little while to get enough scraps to make a full set but just keep going till you get it preferably especially at end game you want to make it on this one because it will reduce the cost and get yourself a named armor on there preferably the shield right i cannot recommend that one enough uh, it'll just give you the highest armor value on your armor for yourself so we've heard where we can learn it we've seen what the armor looks like and we've also seen the stats of what it gives you and how we craft it let's go and have a look where we learn the recipe
Alright, so just before we head inside, uh, this is where I am. This is the Warmaker Sanctuary or Clail Stronghold. And if I just pan around, you can see over there that is where the brimstone area is. There are some enemies here that you'll have to kill. If you're fighting your way up, this guy isn't a boss, so don't worry. Uh, there's an obelisk just down there. And if I quickly jump to my map, you can see this is where we are on the map, just sort of north of Sepamaru just below the highlands and near to the springs I think it's called the Shattered Springs this area so you come up here, you have to fight these guys and then you make your way inside and you'll have other bosses and things to fight, I'm not going to cover them in this video because it'll be too many and it'll go on too long so what I'll do is I'll jump inside now get to the arena and we'll carry on in the arena alright so I'll see you in a second Alright, so I'm inside the dungeon. Uh, I haven't actually gone through to the arena as yet. That's the arena door just at the far end that you can see there. Uh, just wanted to quickly mention, when you've made your way past the first three mini-bosses that you have to kill to get a key, and you've come through the door and down these stairs, uh, watch for little traps like this, because this brick here, if you stand on it, it will launch you up in the air. Uh, it's like a spring-loaded platform, and you will take fall damage, so just be careful. There are lots of traps in this dungeon, like these, if you stand on these it will either be gas or fire that will hurt you, so be careful. Lots of little spike traps and things to watch out for all the time. If you guys would like to see a little walkthrough video on this, an up-to-dated, up-to-dated? <laughs> updated version even, uh, do let me know in the comments down below and I'm quite happy to do a little walkthrough, just kind of explaining the layout of the dungeon and probably the best way or what I think is the best way to tackle it either solo or with a thrall or with two thralls if you're doing a war party build we'll happily do that but yeah in these little side rooms you'll find a staircase as you can see where that guy's going there if you go up the staircase or up above there and there's one up on that side if you go up there are enemies to kill obviously nothing's kill it, attacking me because I am cloaked in a gob over this video but there is a couple of chests that you can loot some will just give you loot and you'll find one of the sort of silver looking like chests that you always find all over the map now not so much the wooden ones the big metal looking ones they'll give you a rusted key as there's four of them to collect so you've got one this side one here um a couple down there the mini boss down there that you can see the guy at the end the white boss as some people call him with another kind of color blue and white you'll need to kill him because he will give you what is called the key to the arena more spikes again as I say little boss there but if you've got a throw with it he's not even really a boss he's easy to kill if you're not wanting to fight the arena champion or you've already learnt the arena champion's army you don't want to fight her good news is you don't have to do you can nip up here and if you sneak through you crouch here as you'll see you'll get through and that is the remainder of the dungeon there, we won't go through there now, I'll show you that in a minute but if you've got your key to the arena you want to run up to this door be careful as you come in, as I say, because there are literally spikes straight away and even in good armour they still hurt, so just be careful and yeah, there she is so if you run up within a certain distance, probably here she will aggro and you will have to fire her so once again, a very angry looking lady. <laughs> and yeah, trust me, she hits hard. So if you want to get upset and get killed and lose all your gear, if you're on an official server or get his all killed, yeah, by all means come and try and fight her. But if you don't want to, avoid her like the plague. But what you can do is, if you come through that door, if you stay up this side and keep right on the edge, she's all the way over there, and if you carefully come around here believe it or not she shouldn't aggro from this range, I've done this a few times, but if you creep around here there are a couple of uh, ads to kill these guys, these undead skeleton dudes, whatever you call them a couple of them, there's one down there, one here, they may both aggro, but what you want is this tablet right here and as you'll see there, learn to win the champion's armour once you've learned it you don't need to come back in here again but that is how you do it 
or if you want to fight her and you do manage to kill her you kill her then this gate over here will open again and you'll be able to exit I think this gate closed, maybe that this stays open but bear in mind that even if this does stay open and you try and run away from her yeah she will actually chase you out here believe it or not uh, so the shortcut we came through was just back up there where you can creep across you can come down here and it'll bring you in here and you'll be able to sit, look back into there and see the arena champion in there so then you want to carry on up here all the way along you'll have different ads to fight so spiders undead hyenas undead cappers or shalebacks whatever you want to call them there's all different little side rooms uh, as you can see all the hyenas there they will come running out into the middle and if you carry on all the way down spiders as you can see there and in this end one uh, where is it I think I've missed it somewhere uh, oh yeah there's this end cave here as you can see fighting away as usual is a, a nice big nasty dragon and yeah that guy does spit fire that does actually breathe fire that dragon so be careful more spiders but you want to carry on down black ice here as well so if you're after some sort of mid game black ice there's a few little spots here as you're running through this snow area that does actually have black ice that's pretty helpful get a little bit of ice as well I think if you're running low on water so if you've got a pick with you yep another bit there so then you want to come up to this door here now once you enter this room you cannot get out again until you defeat the boss so if you're going in for it you're going to have to go in and stay in so once you cross through as you see that's now red so that will mean essentially once that door shuts I can't open it again and go back out if you've got your rusted keys from your chest and you can actually do this before you aggro him as well uh, I've got some on me here if you come to here there's four of these as I say, open it up <coughs> just one chest in each room as you can see you get a bit of gold, bit of silver or coins and there's one armor scrap in that one which is why I say you probably need to farm this a few times because it does only sometimes give you one might give you two if you're lucky but there are four rooms all together another one here as you can see it comes up on the why is this not working there? that's weird uh, but yeah there are four rooms you'll need four keys to be able to do it these tablets do actually teach you the grandmaster stuff at the moment which is the current way to learn your legendary stuff in the game however with the new update that may be changing they may not apply anymore so don't take that too serious but yeah as you can see it's saying it requires a rusted key so you'll need four of those and you'll get a chest in each one and then to obviously complete the dungeon you just got to come up here and defeat this guy if you're lucky he will actually drop that weapon which is a legendary two-handed weapon I think it's called the destroyer if I remember correctly and uh, this is also the godbreaker armor which you learn as well in here bit of a scary crazy looking armor but that's a different one again and as I say when you kill him he can also drop you some armor scraps as well if you get lucky so that is the recipe that is the boss and the way to get your armor scraps oh well, once again guys that is just about it for this one yeah another video over and done with <laughs> I know they're uh, only short and sweet uh, just don't want to go into too much detail on too many things because obviously don't want to bore people with it and obviously make it too lengthy but if you do have any questions let me know in the comments down below and if I can answer them I'll do my best to do so or if I don't know the answer I'll hopefully be able to point you in the direction of somebody who will and once again as I said at the time of this video we are awaiting the Age of War which is coming out on the 22nd of June of this year so things may be changing ever so slightly from what we're hearing there's no change to the armour other than the durability side to it but that's for another video 
so this was just a look at the Arena Champion armor and also the Godbreaker that you can choo also choose uh, best armor again, it's another one for you this is a little series like I said just to focus on armor, the armor that's better for players so if you did find this useful do me a really big favor give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and until I see you in the next one if you missed the previous video go back onto the channel and check them out they're all on there and until I see you in the next one I shall say goodbye alright then guys bye bye for now